What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, recently I, I took a little bit of a break from YouTube, about a week break, uh, because I had finals and I was just feeling kind of stressed, didn't really want to make any videos, so um, I took a week off and to celebrate me coming back, yeah, I'm celebrating my own, my own achievement of just finally uploading again. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing a team building session and a testing session, uh, basically around the number one voted Pokemon in this community tab. I uploaded this community tab poll, not even a poll, just a thing. I'm like, hey, comment down below what Pokemon you want me to use. And 107 comments later, we had two Pokemon that rose to the top, and one was Cryogonal with 42 votes, but just above it was actually more Pico, surprisingly enough. I actually didn't expect that, uh, but yeah, more Pico. We're going to go ahead and build around that today. Now, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'm going to be bringing you guys, once again, daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. <laughs> it took me a little bit to get back on the horse, but uh, we're doing it. So, Morpeko is actually a really interesting Pokemon. Uh, if you look at it, it has some pretty cool support options, and people had experimented with it in earlier series, earlier VGC 20 formats. Uh, however, it fell off after a little bit when people were like, okay, yeah, there just isn't much going on here. Uh, and that's because Incineroar came into the format. It had a lot of the tools that Morpeko had. Uh, but Morpeko has Hunger Switch. I definitely want to run Aura Wheel since it's actually a very powerful move. 110 base power is nothing to scoff at. Even coming off of 95 attack, that's doing a ton of damage to a lot of things in the format. And the speed boost every single time you use it, that's huge. Now, um, obviously we're going to want to run fake out on this guy. I, I haven't even like chosen my Pokemon, but I already know what moves I'm going to want to use on this guy. Parting shot is another huge one. And if it gets taunt, I would see a big, yeah, there, there's a big reason to use taunt here. So we'll keep that in mind, but, uh, I want to take a look at, you know, what's being used on the ladder right now. Cause I did take a week break and a lot happened in the past week. And wow, this is not the correct VGC format. Cause there's a Zygarde on there. VGC usage. Huh, okay. Well, Babiri seems to be a little bit busted considering they're showing me a Zygarde. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I guess we're closing out of Babiri. Hello, Google Images. Now, um, taking a look at things, Urshifu has risen to the top of usage recently, and that's because it's just be it's become so widely known that Choice Band Urshifu was absolutely insane. 69% usage here, nearly 70 uh, on Focus Sash, but also 25% usage on Choice Band. Uh, a lot of people go with Focus Sash just because it's more reliable. You can switch up your moves, but uh, the Choice Band is just for immediate power. It's very hard to switch in on that thing, even with Tapu Fini. I think I almost two-shot one the other day with Choice Band Urshifu, so... That's something to keep in mind. Uh, Lander's Therian is something I don't want to have to face with more Pico, so naturally outspeeding it, I believe. What's Lando's base speed? 91, yeah, naturally outspeeding that is really huge. Um, I think more Pico would fit well as an electric type on pretty much any team. I'm trying to think of like a team where there's an electric type prevalent, like where you obviously want an electric type, but the thing about electric types in this format is that they're mostly supportive, funny enough. Um, the only one I can think of that isn't immediately supportive is Rotom Heat. Because you see, like, support-ish Zapdos, you see, uh, support you see a lot of support Regilekis, uh, support Tapu Koko, support Raichu. So this is actually going to be a really interesting team-building exercise. Uh, I definitely want a Tapu Fini, just because they synergize so well. Uh, I think Tapu Fini more Pico are actually a really good combo here. Um, what else do I want? I could go with an Incineroar, but having two Dark types, uh, just with a metagame that you know, has fairies running around, doesn't seem great. And while, you know, Incineroar isn't weak to fairies, I, I just have to keep it in mind that it can't switch in on any hits for more Pico, really. Um, hmm. I mean, Kartana is obviously a really good one. Do I want Incineroar on this team? I don't know. What other fire types are really optional here? Um... I mean, there are a couple of good ones. Does more Pico have any way of like? Actually, you know what team we're probably gonna see a lot of? We're probably gonna see a lot of um, Urshifu Water plus Colossal. And while we can't we can't like always outspeed Urshifu Water, especially since it's going for Aqua Jet uh, to stop the setup, maybe more Pico can do something about that. Hmm. I definitely have to be weary about it, you know. I mean, it has decent options on the physical side, you know? Psychic Fangs could be, actually be pretty good, now that I think about it, since screens are running around a bit. 
Um, but I also kind of want the I kind of want the coverage, you know. I don't know. I'll keep I'll keep everything in mind. I definitely want to run a focus sash on this guy. Focus sash is so good. Maybe I'll just go taunt. Just go with like a standard more pico spread. Nothing really too fancy. Something that'll just work, you know. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? It's actually gonna be really good for beating Moltres now that I think about it. Now that I really think about it, more pico is nothing that Moltres wants to deal with. It resists both the stabs and hits it super effectively on the physical side, which is the side it typically doesn't want to get hit on. So that's actually really good. I could try to throw in something here that's kind of weak to Moltres. I already have like a really nice matchup versus Moltres, but considering this covers Moltres very well, I could try something that Moltres wouldn't typically uh, be afraid of, you know, something that really fears Moltres. I could go Spectrier actually. Hold on, I kind of like Spectrier more Pico. I mean, Spectrier Urshifu is already a thing, but hmm, Spectrier more Pico. Hold on, I think I might be onto something here. Uh, Spectrier, I can run a pretty, you know, normal spread, timid, max special attack, max speed. Uh, with Shadow Ball, Mud Shot, the only moves it really gets, uh, Protect, and I believe people are running Will O Wisp at the moment just because it's good. Because it doesn't really have much else, you know, I can run Will O Wisp. All right, Kartana, you guys are gonna hate me. I I can't see not running AV Kartana. Like I just I just can't get over AV Kartana in this format. Please forgive me for running AV Kartana on pretty much every team with a Kartana on it. It's just it's just so good, you know. Uh, and my Tapu Fini, I might just run another copy and pasted spread from another team that I just find very reliable. But we'll think about it. Maybe I could run like Specs Fini if uh, the team really calls for it. I definitely want a Fire type though. I definitely want a fire type, you know? Um, I could try Incineroar, but... Hmm, maybe not. I think an AV Lando wouldn't be bad. At least on this team. Um, I'm really excited to try, like, Spectre plus more Pico. That could be so gross. If I'm using Spectre, I have a Dark type to cover it. I don't, ha I mean, I do have a Ghost Switching and a Dark Switching with more Pico, but Tapu Fini is going to be the dedicated Dark Switching, I think. Um, these guys fit well together. I, I don't have a Ground Resist. That's something you need to keep in mind. I need something that actually takes on Ground Types, and I think Landorus wouldn't be a bad option, but I want to explore other things first. Rillaboom isn't really something I want here. Or maybe I could actually go Rillaboom over Kartana. But I don't know about that yet. Hmm. I think I'll actually go Lando. I think Lando's just overall probably the best option. Lando's Therian. I mean, it gives me an Intimidator, it gives me a couple of things. Uh, my Trick Room matchup is pretty weak, so I definitely want something for that. Um, what? I mean, I could, I could just run... I mean, I already have Taunt on this guy, which is not a bad way of stopping Trick Room, but I definitely want something that functions under Trick Room. That's always been part of my team building philosophy. I find it very difficult to make a team that doesn't have an option for fighting Trick Room, you know? And I suppose I could go with like, um, I could go with a stack attack and it wouldn't be awful. But that would also make me not want to run Kartana because I'm doubling up on my seal types, which isn't bad, you know, but it gives me um, a pretty big fighting weakness. Spectre and Landers could switch in for everything, but then I have three, I still have three fighting weaknesses on this team, you know? I definitely don't want to go Amoongus considering I'm running a Tapu Fini. Maybe, maybe I will go Stack Attack, and maybe that is the play. I mean, Stack Attack is pretty reliable. I don't have a Fire-type yet, though. Is there, like, a good Fire-type Trick Room Pokemon? I don't believe so. I mean, Marowak is right there, but then I'm doubling up on my... <laughs> I'm doubling up on my Ghost-types, which is never a good idea, really, in the format. Um... Yeah, there isn't really anything here that interests me beyond Torkoal. I could actually go... Hold on, what if I adjust the way I'm looking at this team. Maybe I could go Torkoal Venusaur. Hmm. Let's drop the Kartana. Let's drop the Kartana. I actually like what I just what I just thought of there. Torkoal. Venusaur. Venucoal, no skill. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop Tapu Fini here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add on Stack Attack just because Stack Attack at Torkoal is so good. Um, I like this. I like this a lot more. I'll put the Life Orb on you. It'll take a much more offensive roll, though. Timid, max speed, max special attack. Oh, messed that up. 
And I want to run Sleep Powder for certain. I'll go ahead and I'll run Leaf Storm, Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, and Earth Power is really good in the format. Torkoal, I want to run Burning Jealousy. I just think it's a really good move for Torkoal right now. Uh, Yawn could also be pretty good. Actually, yeah, we'll go Yawn. Uh, protect. And... I mean, there are a couple of good moves. I could try to run, like, after you, Torkoal, just for the heat, you know? That, that could be actually really heat if I decide to go for that, but... Um, I'm sure there's a better move I could be using. Maybe Torkoal itself could have Earth Power. I don't, I don't really see too much of an issue with that, but... Hmm. Uh, I could go Clear Smog. That would be bad, actually. I could go Clear Smog. Let me think. Under Trick Room, there are a couple of things that use Weakness Policy, and most of them aren't immune to Clear Smog. I could try that, but... I think I'll just go Heat Wave for extra damage. Burning Jealousy isn't... It, it isn't the only move I want to go for, you know? Go with the Citrus Berry. Drought. And we'll just run a standard Torkoal. I could run it a bit more defensively, but... You know, we're, we're just testing. Well, like, if, if I were really, really into the idea of more Pico, like... If I really wanted to make, like, a team around it, I wouldn't be able to do it in one video. I'd have to actually, like, sit down and adjust it. So we're going with, like, a lot of basic spreads today. Um, I definitely want to try... I could go Assault Vest Lando. Assault Vest Lando is typically very good. The other thing is I don't know an actual spread for Assault Vest Lando because I haven't used it yet this format, so... Not Rock Polish, Rock Slide. Rock Slide, Earthquake, and U-Turn. I think we'll just go Jolly for now. I mean, obviously, this is not the ideal Assault Vest Lando spread. You want to actually, like, EV to live things. Or I guess I could do that. I guess I could EV to live something so I'm not just wasting an Assault Vest. I'll probably even, like, edit that part out of the video so you guys aren't bored to death. Now, without context, this is a very weird spread, I'm certain, but I don't want to just steal a spread and call it my own, you know? Alright, uh, with this guy, I could throw a Weakness Policy on him, and I have had some success with Weakness Policy Stack Attacka, so I might just steal that spread from another team I'm working on. We'll just steal that spread from there. Uh, and I do like Weakness Policy Stack Attacka quite a bit. I could run Safety Goggles, you know, for easier Trick Room, but I feel comfortable with what I have here. I, I really like the Weakness Policy. Alright, um... Overall, this team looks interesting. I'm not sure how well it'll work, but I suppose we... Oh, I already... I have two Life Orbs. I have two life orbs. Hmm. I could switch out more Pico's item for something else. Maybe I could swap the life orb out for something. A wide lens wouldn't be bad, you know? Hmm. I mean, if I'm mostly going for grass moves, I could just give this guy a miracle seed, but what am I trying to pick up KOs on? Not much, it's mostly just like getting up the, the vines that matter, you know? What do I want to give you? Because I definitely want the Life Orb on Spectre and the Sasha more Pico. I could just give it a wide lens, call it a day, you know? <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. I am ready to try it out. I'm not sure how well this will work out, but this is the first incarnation of this team. If you guys are interested in me like making a revised version, I'd be down to try it. Uh, but for now, this is what we're working with. Why is it not showing up? Oh, VGC 2021. There we go. All right, let's do it. More Pico. Hopefully it's a, a halfway decent team. I mean, I think, I think we have, like, the makings of a okay team here. Alright. Uh, so, this is Wolfie's team. Like I said, we're going to be facing it pretty much every time, immediately. Every single time. Uh, I can lead off more Pico here. And just go stack Attacka. And they don't like the Trick Room matchup, so. Uh, we'll bring the Torkoal as well. I kind of wish I had Earth Power on the Torkoal now, to be honest. Hmm. We'll think about that in the future. And I think my last Pokemon has to be Landorus. As they opt to go for this lead, that's fine. I can still get off a Trick Room. I just fake out the Incineroar since I outspeed. So I fake out Incineroar, Trick Room. And from there, I'm not too worried. I mean, I can just bring in my... Um, 
I can just bring in my Torkoal. The only thing is I am at minus one on my stack, which isn't great, but we're mostly going to be clicking Body Press in this game anyways. So I think I'm okay with that. And I know Wolf's team has Taunt and his Incineroar, so I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain it does at least. Uh, so I have to fake out here. As they protect the Moltres, they're likely going for Taunt. I trick room up here. And the Hunger Switch goes off, so I don't have an electric move. Um, I think my play here is to... I don't want to set off the weakness policy, right? On the Moltres. I'll get him my Torkoal. And I think what I want to do is just max Steel Spike to start boosting my defense on the Moltres. I don't want to... I know it doesn't have weakness policy, but I still want to like get my defense up. Because it feels like it's going to be huge this game. We get a good chunk of damage despite being at minus one. They get Berserk. They parting shot in my stack attack. Uh, I was anticipating that anyways. They go for an Air Slash. It actually does a decent amount. Uh, within Sun, they can't really knock out my Urshifu. I'll go ahead here and... I don't think I can knock them out. But I can go for a Yawn. A rapid, uh, uh, Their Rapid Strikes wouldn't KO me. Just because of the sun. I think my play here is to yawn into them and max steel spike. Because they can't knock me out with a close combat either. Not from this range. The aqua jet. That's not doing much. <laughs> I get another defense boost. Like I said, we're going for the body press endgame here. I do make their Urshifu very sleepy. Um, I can yawn the incinerator here pretty safely once again. And I'll actually steel spike into the Urshifu. Anticipating them to actually switch out here. Yep. So I'm going to catch the Moltres. That's really big. I think I KO from this range. Not quite, but nothing a Burning Jealousy can't deal with. Uh, the reason I'm not going for Heat Wave is because Burning Jealousy is 100% accurate. And now I can just click Body Press on the Incineroar. And I still have to be really careful uh, with Urshifu and Colossal, of course, you know. Uh, but I'm not feeling terrible about this endgame. Just because I also brought my Landorus, which is going to be really big. If they even try to switch out something, uh, it's something's dropping. I kind of hope they bring in Urshifu so I can get a free KO. Now, obviously, I can't just like try to stall out here, go for like a protect and try to trick room again. While that would be ideal, I have to be really careful about Incineroar being able to just straight up stop it, you know? All right. So I'm at plus three defense. Urshifu can ignore that. I think my play here is to get in my Morpico. And dang, do I have to let my stack go down? Because I'm pretty sure the Rapid Strikes would knock me out. You know what? That, no, that isn't my play. I think I just have to go for the Body Press regardless and get in Morpico. Uh, and I just have to hope that this works out. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I do manage to live, I get a lot of... I, get, I remove the Urshifu and then I just win with Landris. Um, and if it doesn't work out, then it's fine because I at least, you know... I, oh, wow, what? Excuse me? Why did... Oh, yeah, the sun's still up. I forgot. No, we, we just deleted Urshifu. And probably their chances of winning. All right, cool. Now, they can still... They can still do their thing, right? Uh, but not well. Because I just fake out the Urshifu and go for a Trick Room, I believe. Maybe not even. Maybe I don't even go for the Trick Room. Actually, I think I do go for Trick Room here. Yeah, because they should detect. And now I just Rock Slide. <laughs> yeah, now I win with Landers because they can't activate their weakness policy and win. Uh, so my play here... Yeah, they just forfeit. Awesome. Cool. That was a really messy game, but we'll... <laughs> we'll call it a W. We'll call it a W. And, and more people actually did a decent amount that game too. GLHF. This is an interesting one. Sorry, I'm like low ladder right now on this account. I probably should have hopped onto a higher ladder account, but it's whatever. This team... They don't seem to like more Pico Spectre on lead. Just looking at it, you know? I'll go with that. It seems interesting. I have to be really careful with that Blacephalon though. It looks like it's going to be an issue. Uh, I want to bring my landers here, but I have to be real careful about you. 
and or actually you know what i'm just not even gonna mess around with it we'll go we'll go no skill mode <laughs> we'll go torkoal venusaur on lead no skill and I, I think we definitely still have to bring either more pico or landris to this game in the back i think i'd prefer landris it just overall seems better all right we have gone no skill mode how much do you want to bet they're running ally switch i'm willing to bet they're running ally switch are you willing to bet they're running ally switch Here's how I cover both options. I go for a Yawn onto the Dragapult, but I also go for a Sleep Powder onto the Moltres. I land my Sleep Powder because of Wide Lens. They max Airstream. They're going to knock out my Venusaur, but they're about to get Yawned. And uh, now I get in Stack Attack and Trick Room up. <laughs> Let me go for the Protect in the Trick Room. Uh, this should be relatively safe. They don't really have a way of stopping it. Dragapult shouldn't be able to one-shot me unless it's running Max Geyser, which for all I know it could be. Actually, no, it can't because I have Sun Up. There's the Mesprit. They're going to try to imprison the Trick Room, but it's a bit too late. They Max Wormwind. I'm fine with that, to be honest. I'm going to go for the Max Steel Spike endgame. Oh, they have a Lumberry. Interesting. Uh, like I said, though, I'm still going to go for the Max Steel Spike endgame. And I can't Burning Jealousy because they're under Trick Room. They're going to go after me. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'll just go for another Yawn and a Max Steel Spike onto uh, Mesprit, because that's one of the few things stopping us from being able to Trick Room up. As the Moltres Gallery comes in, that's fine. I'm going to be able to Yawn the Dragapult. And as long as I keep more, my more Pico healthy, um, I should be able to body press everything on their side of the field to win. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just Heat Wave here. And Max Steel Spike Dragapult. They haven't burned any turns of sleep, I believe. No, they did burn one turn, so they could wake up here, but I'm not too concerned about it. They're going to take a lot of damage on this turn. Max Steel Spike plus Heat Wave is nothing they would enjoy. As I actually missed the Moltres, which is a bit annoying. Um, another Heat Wave. And another Max Steel Spike into Moltres. As they go for a Protect, that's fine. As long as there isn't a buzz wool in the back, I think I just win with stack. As I miss another heat wave. That kinda that kinda sucks, bro. They should hundred percent imprison here, so I'm not even gonna try. I'll go ahead and go for the yawn into Mesprit. As well as a body press into Moltres to KO. Or maybe I just protect here. Yeah, I'll just protect. They should just imprison. Fiery Wrath. Does a lot of damage. As long as I don't flinch, I'm good. Nice, Moltres is down. And as long as they only have physical attackers in the back, which I'm pretty certain that's a physical Dragapult since they're running max airstream, I should be good, you know? There's the Galarian Darmanitan. I'll go ahead and intimidate him and go for a body press, and that's probably my best chance of surviving. As they ally switch. Ooh, okay. Um, there's a pretty good chance that they're running a choice item on this guy. And they've already burned their Dynamax. Oh wait, did I act like I had more Pico in the back? I just realized I was acting like I had more Pico in the back. I'm going to go ahead and switch in Torkoal. Hmm. I mean, they're choice locked into this move, you know? I could just go for Rock Slide and try to trick room. As I don't survive, that's fine. Go for the Dragon Darts. It does a significant amount of damage. I knock out the Darmanitan. I think I win now, just by virtue of Yawn, you know? Uh, we'll go for a Fly into the Dragapult, a Yawn as well. Is they Phantom Force? That's perfectly fine. Fly, Yawn one more time. As long as I connect my Yawn as they miss, uh, Fly will just knock him out then. All right, good game. Well played. I don't know how I avoided that. How did I avoid a Phantom Force? I'm not running Bright Powder. Is Phantom Force not 100% accurate? Am I dumb? I got to check that. There's no way. I'm pretty certain it's 100% accurate. How did he miss? I... I don't know how he missed. Oh, wait, I'm stupid, guys. I, I was flying. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. How do you miss? I completely forgot I clicked, I clicked fly. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired today. 
All right, um, this looks like a pretty scary team. I don't know about, you know, Venusaur with no Torkoal. Yo, the Venusaur with no Coal. Um, I like Spectre quite a bit here, just because the Will-O-Wisp is such a strong option. And if I can burn that thing immediately, whew, it's gamer time. Uh, let me lead off Sack Attacka, because that'll incentivize them not to want to... Um, That'll incent like if they end up leading off with Weezing and Regigigas, that'll incentivize them not to um like protect, you know, because the Trick Room is a major threat. So we'll go Stack Attack a Spectre, I think. Or what am I saying? Let me go Spectre more Pico. That covers most things. The fake out, especially on the on the um boy, is gonna be huge. I think in the back, I still want to go with the Trick Room option with you, and we will bring. I mean, Landorus is not a bad option here either. Might go Lando. Go Lando. Okay, cool. So my play here is 100% to Willowist the Regigigas and go for a fake out onto the Weezing. If I connect this, um, if I connect this Willowist and they Dynamax, I'm pretty certain I just win. It's gonna be close though, you know. As they protect, go for my fake out. All right. Um, and what I should do here is still go for the Willowisp. And I want to try to taunt on their taunt in case they try to taunt me. But I can also just parting shot the Regigigas. I think I'll taunt Weezing. Because they might just stay in, yeah. They max guard, they fail. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. That's just funny that I missed my Will-O-Wisp and they, they fail that. Alright, let me Will-O-Wisp into Regigigas now and go for the parting shot. This has been such an awkward first turn. Such an awkward first turn. I land it, we're good. Let me parting shot. Okay, he's faster, I forgot. <laughs> Let me parting shot out of here, though. And uh, I'll just get in my Lando. Feels pretty safe. Yeah. And I want to get rid of their Weezing, especially. I'll switch out stack attack here. And I can't max guard, unfortunately, but... Hmm... I think I just sack the more Pico, but the fake out could also be really good. That's the thing. I think I'll just go for a mud shot and assume they go for a strike onto my Lando. I'll switch in stack. Because I want damage on the Weezing. That's going to be huge. That first turn was so awkward. <laughs> it was so awkward. But I'm glad I, I decided to go for the taunt there, because if I didn't... Man, that could have been bad. They get in the Urshifu Rapid Strike. I go for a Mud Shot. It does a solid amount, to be honest. That's kind of crazy. They do go for the Max Strike, so I did make a correct call there. Unfortunately, my Spectre is now slower than this Urshifu. And I can't protect my Stack Attacka, so... I, I kind of need to... Max. Yikes, that's not a fun idea. Let me get in the Landers to Intimidate. Um, on that slot. I want to keep more Pico around because it just feels right. It just feels right. No, I'll, I'll sack more Pico here. And I'll try to Dynamax. I don't think they close combat me. No, nah, I need to Intimidate it in case they decide to go for the close combat. And a Max Knuckle at plus two should do it, right? Some of you close combated. A Surging Strikes. That's fine. I still get my Weakness Policy. Does even less, I think. As they Ice Punch. They really, they really tried. They really tried. Uh, this should knock out at plus two. Awesome. And there isn't much they can do about this. Because Regigigas is burned in at minus two. There's the Weezing. Uh, they should just go for the... They should just go for the burn, right? So what I'll do here is I'll actually U-turn on the Weezing and I'll max guard and then I'll get in my more Pico and I'll taunt them and then just KO them with a max deal spike. Because Landorus should go before everything here. Or not Landorus, uh, Regigigas should go before everything here since Weezing is um, on the field. An Ice Punch wouldn't KO my Lando from this range. The only way they could avoid this is, you know, the uh, unfortunate freeze. And the reason I'm not Earthquaking is just in case they decide to try to call me on- Whoa! Hold on! 
Excuse me, sir. I didn't like that. All right. Um, let me just taunt the wheezing, I suppose. And we'll KO the Regigigas now. That was weird. I mean, they got the crit, right? They needed the crit to knock me out when they're burned, but we're going to knock out the wheezing here. Or we're going to knock out the Regigigas with a uh, max knuckle. It's plus 2.5, so... Yeah, and now I'm faster than everything except for Regieleki. Here's the Venusaur. I'd rather taunt the Venusaur, to be completely honest, because I don't want to go to sleep. I'm just not sleepy, bro. Uh, let me trick him up, and I'll win with Stack Attack of Body Press. I'd rather... Ooh, wait. I have to be real careful in case he Earth Powered. That could have been bad, actually. Okay, he did Sleep Powder, and he did miss. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I should always focus down the Venusaur now. It can't protect, so uh, my play is 100% to Aura Wheel and Gyro Ball. And I'm going to assume they're, they had Life Orb on the Reggie Gigas, right? I don't know, maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm stupid. Aura Wheel does a solid chunk. Uh, they can't win anymore. Let me just Aura Wheel, Gyro Ball. It's all good. And we managed to pick up another win. Managed to pick up another big fat W, you know? Just a, just a big fat W. Awesome. So, more Pico already showing its worth. Uh, we'll do one more battle. I don't know how well it's going to go. Hopefully, we can get like a really good more Pico showcase here. I want to do more Pico Spectre on leads so bad, but I haven't been able to. This might be the game I can, though. More Pico Spectre. There isn't much they can do to counter that. I definitely want to bring this Torkoal in the back, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm not thinking, actually. No, I'm thinking again. We'll bring Stack Attack up. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a really strange game. I think more Pico Spectre is going to be really nasty on lead, though. Alright. So, Mamoswine and Spectre. Or, Mamoswine and Celesteela. Honestly, I feel like I just go for the fake out here and I can Dynamax. I kind of want to Will O Wisp this Mamoswine, to be completely honest. Because will o -Wisp and the Mammoth Swine does not seem like a bad investment of my time. And fake out the Celesteela. If this works out, I feel good. Because I want to switch over to my to my angry mode. My hangry mode, you know? Alright, cool. We get that. Uh, unfortunately, we don't burn it. So I'm likely losing my Spectre here. Hopefully, they target it into more Pico. Okay, they did target it into more Pico. But unfortunately, Focus Sash. Um... Dang, I think I just lose this one. I think I Dynamax Stack Attack here. And go for the Max Steel Spike and just hope I survive. Uh, while also going for a... I think I switch in the Torkoal here in case they want to go for a, a Water move. Because the Sun will help me out with surviving. Dang, that would have gone a lot better if I just Dynamaxed, I think. I wonder what they're at. Are they Life Orb? They showed Life Orb? Yeah, they showed Life Orb, so... I mean, a max phantasm would have done a ton, but played it a little bit, a little bit poorly. Is the max quake. I mean, now I definitely survive any hit from this mammoth swine, and it's actually within Spectria range, which is huge. Let me get in the Spectria. I can Shadow Ball to KO, and I think my play here is to go for the max Rockfall onto Celesteela. Yeah, because that'll give me Sand, which is big. Go for the Shadow Ball and the Mammoth Swine. Hopefully they don't max guard. They could, though. I just don't feel like there's a place for me to predict here. I should always just go on the offensive. It's become 100% a stack attack game. With Sand Up, I should live any hit from Tapu Fini. And if I get lucky enough, they'll go for a Muddy Water and I'll get my Trick Room off. And with no, with no like issues regarding getting Trick Room off, they should give me a little special defense boost there. Oh, wait. Hold up. The question is, who do I KO? I mean, Mammoth Swine poses more of a threat to stack attacker than anything. Um, my Sandstorm is up. I'll just Steel Spike since I believe... Nah, I won't KO from that range. I'll go for the Max Knuckle to KO, and I should always Shadow Ball into Mammoth Swine. Unfortunately, though, there isn't much of a way to prevent the Spectre from going down. I get a critical hit on the Celesteel. That's pretty big. I just realized I have not been saying GLHF. I'm such a bad player right now. It protects. I'm fine with that. It makes it easier to get the Trick Room off. And it also makes it easier to pick off the uh, Celesteela. All 
Okay. They get in the Rillaboom. Obviously, I should be afraid of... Of, like, Fake Out, you know? But I'm actually pretty confident they're just going to Grassy Glide into Spectrier, which I'm willing to make that trade. I'm willing to Trick Room here, and in case they don't go for the Grassy Glide into Spectrier, uh, I want to go for Shadow Ball into Rillaboom. Okay. So I should get Trick Room off. They Air Slash. Don't flinch. I flinch. Um, can you do the same thing, but this time not KO me with high horsepower so I can sweep with my Rock Slide, please? <laughs> I would like to sweep with Rock Slide. That'd be great. High horsepower shouldn't do too much. So the way I win this is um, they go for high horsepower, and I'm not within range of Grassy Glide afterwards, and then I click Rock Slide to win. They go for Knock Off, which is actually kind of huge. They Leech Seed. Now, Gyro Ball definitely does more to Rillaboom. And I think they should just protect the Celesteela here. Dang, that's actually really bad. Yeah, they protect the Celesteela. They go for the Grassy Glide. All right, I get the KO. I'm going to get another defense boost. Celesteela might be within range, but it's just, it's just a very tricky situation here. That flinch is actually really big. At plus one attack, Tapu Fini may be within range. Actually, Tapu Fini is definitely within range. I'll just Gyro Ball. Tapu Fini, that's fine. Dang, I made a wrong read there. Uh, they should protect the Celesteela here. I need this Tapu Fini KO, and then a Body Press will do it if they don't protect the Celesteela. But, dang. I need plus three defense, and I really need to KO. I think I might lose. Yeah, unfortunately, they attack this turn. So, I'm going to go down to Flash Cannon. Ah, uh, yeah, that Air Slash Flinch did make a big difference, but it's all good. I think we overall made a pretty decent more Pico team, to be honest. I'm a little bit upset we weren't able to go for the more Pico uh, strategy on lead, but I mean, it's all good. It's all good. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like, and then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below what Pokemon you want me to use in next week's team building session. I want to make this a weekly thing, a weekly recommendation team builder. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.